It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. Chuck D versus Hot 97, or I should say Peter Rosenberg from Hot 97. For those that haven't heard of this controversy, I'll try and leave some links down there so you can read up on this shit. This happened almost a week ago. And I should have put this video out when I first heard about this shit. But um, the thing is, I didn't know how to come at this. But now I think I have a grasp of how I'm going to approach it. So um, here's my thoughts on this shit. Uh, Chuck D, pioneer, legend, definitely an influence on me and other artists in music. Um... I gotta side with him on this one, you know? And I have uh, sided with Rosenberg in the past. I've shouted him out on my channel. You know, I believe that he is one of the uh, last guys on the radio that actually gives underground dudes a chance because he has his late night show where he plays underground shit all the time. Um, but this all started because Chuck D had said some shit about Summer Jam, um, the Hot 97 Summer Jam shit, uh, calling it a sloppy fiasco, talking about, wow, this is, basically I'm paraphrasing, this is what hip-hop has come to, blah, 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 blah. He said it's not Rosenberg's fault, he's just trapped in, in, in uh, the, the court plantation, as he spelled it on his Twitter, or whatever, and... Um, you know, this even got back to Ebro at Hot 97, and Ebro kind of, sort of, agreed with him in a sense, saying, you know, well, those activists and those type of artists have usually complained about mainstream uh, media and radio, so, you know, they should, and it's a good balance, and um, that's something that I always stress on my channel, by the way, so y'all could say that I was consistent with that shit. I always said hip-hop needs a balance. So, um, Rosenberg sort of fired back. He had some uh, responses. He basically was saying, you know, well, hip hop doesn't need a president. And um, what has Chuck D been doing for hip hop lately? Blah, 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 blah. Chuck D is trolling. There were, there were a few things that Rosenberg said that I do agree with that he, he said that, you know, yeah, you know, he, He's a forefather and a pioneer, and we all love him for what he did. And um, he did say, yeah, there's some artists that are um, selling records, and uh, I forget what else he said. There was a few things that Rosenberg said that I do that did resonate with me. I, I do agree with some of the things he said, but for him to question what Chuck D is doing for hip hop, you know. I could see Chuck D isn't super active like he once was. You know, Chuck D, uh, Chuck D and Public Enemy aren't at the forefront like they used to be, but they still release albums. And, um, you know, Chuck D doesn't even have to do anything in hip-hop anymore because his stamp is already left on hip-hop. He is a fucking pioneer, made fucking dope hits, classic albums it's it's done he doesn't he's not like these dudes that believe that well i gotta eat off this shit he was smart enough to make his money to to leave his imprint and now he does other ventures he does lectures he has his radio show he gets paid through other avenues so i mean he he was smart with it you know and um another thing that rosenberg said was that um Chuck D never really liked radio, even when it was black owned and shit like that. And uh, 
he was talking he referenced WBLS and KISS as uh, these radio stations that he had he took umbrage with well let me say this you know I, I, I did like the radio at one point in my life when there was a balance of music on it when you could hear everything on it nowadays I don't um, I can't speak for Chuck D for from his hatred or, or his disdain for the radio back in the day that he had um, but I will say this about Chuck D. Chuck D never made music that was um, for the radio, for the masses. It wasn't meant to be that. He was putting his message in a music. He had a message that he wanted to put out there. So if the radio happened to pick it up, that wasn't his intent. It just caught on and, and it took the world by storm. So that's what I tell y'all motherfuckers. That's how you take back the your, your the fucking music from from corporate you fucking put your music out there you don't let the radio dictate how you make your music you make your music and you dictate to the radio here you play it if you want to play it if you want to this is my shit i don't care how hard or 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 what you think about it play it let let's see what the fucking fans think like, again, I'll quote, um, Atmosphere, one of my favorite underground rap groups. True heads are the real music critics. Let the heads decide what the fuck gets played and what the fuck is dope. Don't let the fucking radio dictate to you what the fuck is dope. Now, I'll admit, there are some dudes that are currently on the radio that I do, I do fuck with them. I, I, I'll admit, but like I said, balance in hip hop. Balance, balance, balance. Yeah, sometimes I want to wild out. I want to um, get down with some shit like like a Rick Ross. I, I, I'm no stranger to his music. Drake. Hey, sometimes I need a little bit uh, of some soft shit. N nothing that's too hard body. I'll go listen to him. It's all right. You know, I admit it. I'm not ashamed to admit that shit. And I think this is what fucking Chuck D is trying to go for. I don't want to speak for the man, he can speak for himself, but his response to um, fucking Rosenberg was he was saying, because uh, Rosenberg was saying he's trolling and this and that, and um, he goes, wow, cats think I'm trolling and shit, and he basically defined trolling, he goes, trolling is when you have, you have an avatar or you're faceless and you're just saying random statements, he goes, you know who the fuck I am, and he goes, listen, I'm going to be at mosque number seven in Harlem speaking on this shit. And I forget the date that he put out there. And he, inv he invited Hot 97, but most particularly Rosenberg to come down and talk about this shit. And shit, man, I wish I could be there for that shit. Chuck D, you need to invite a brother like me because I, I got a lot to fucking get off my motherfucking chest. And um, shit. And let me just tag this on. This is a fucking sidebar because I'm still getting a lot of fucking uh, hate comments um, because of this whole um, Lord Jamar shit that the video that I put out uh, just stating my fucking opinion. See, Chuck D, that is a dude that is saying, listen, we're going to take it back. Hip hop needs socialism. That was what he tweeted. And I agree. Because I've been saying that hip hop, like I just said earlier, the community needs to dictate what's hot, not the fucking radio. The radio is just a fucking vehicle for the shit. You know, if they're cool with playing whatever it is, if they see it's hot, you know, if people, if true heads say, hey, listen, we want uh, slug or slug from atmosphere on the radio, we want fucking. Um, one below to be played yo that one below record was hot let people decide man play a fucking balance so on that tip i definitely agree but how i'm trying to link this and make it relative to that fucking video is because um you know a lot of people were asking me or sending me shit saying you know well what's the solution uh for this shit and um 
I watched a Tommy Sotomayor video sort of on, on the shit uh, when it came down to Macklemore and, and this whole controversy with the Lord Jamar shit. Uh, people were like people like him were saying to be sort of separatist when it came to the shit and I kind of agree to an extent you know I, I say yeah the hip-hop community as a whole not just black but anyone who understands the culture it is a black art form I I have to repeat it because some of you Negroes out there you Negroes don't want to hear anything that I fucking say hip-hop is a black art form but there are others that definitely understand the culture. There are non-blacks that understand the culture. Some of them understand it more than some of you Negroes out there. So again, that's why I, that's why I gotta link it to that because I don't understand what the fuck you you motherfuckers are getting mad at me for for making that fucking video. But um, I don't want to dwell too much on that. This was about Chuck D and and fucking. Um, and fucking Rosenberg. What are your thoughts on that, man? What are your fucking thoughts? Um, I'm glad to see Chuck D took a step up. I I'm riding with Chuck D on this one. Um, like I said, I, I shout out Rosenberg. You know, he does know hip hop. And um, he even said on the tweets, listen, no one owns hip hop. Um, I don't own hip hop. Hot 97 don't own hip hop. Uh, Ebro don't own hip hop, uh, you know, it's just an art form, which I'm half and half, it's a black art form, let's not forget that, but um, yeah, let, let, me, let me just cut it off here, I don't want to ramble, what are your thoughts on this shit, everybody else, y'all know the deal, leave your love, leave your hate, most of all subscribe, Chuck D, holla at a brother, bro. I need to be there. I need to go there and fucking. I got so much anger that I gotta, I gotta let off this fucking chest of mine. All right. If you see this, get at me. All right. Peace, bitches.